Russian President Vladimir Putin is planning a visit to occupy Crimea on Friday, according to reports in the Russian media. Putin is set to visit the construction site of a bridge which will link Russia to the annexed Black Sea Peninsula. More than two years ago this month, Moscow held an internationally unrecognized referendum on Crimea prior to the annexation. In February 2014, armed Russian units dubbed Little Green Men stormed the regional parliament. Soon after, unmarked forces began appearing near Ukrainian military bases on the peninsula. Now the road to Crimea is long and difficult. The border between it and Ukraine is similar to one between two separate states. Ukrainian soldiers stationed at the checkpoint believe the government should have defended its territory when Russian forces first appeared. There was enough weapons and soldiers in Crimea at the time. At a Ukrainian checkpoint hangs a list of products which travelers are banned from bringing into Crimea. The list of goods was approved by the Ukrainian government in January. That came after a group led by Crimean Tatars staged a blockade barring trucks with food from entering the annexed peninsula. They also took steps to cut off the supply of electricity. The Crimean Tatars make up less than 15 percent of Crimea's population of 2 million. The Muslim minority is overwhelmingly opposed to Russia's occupation. Now the blockade has been lifted, but the group is monitoring the border. At the checkpoint, some Crimean residents complain over low state salaries and dismal pensions. Crimea is calm at the moment. It's not better or worse. Life goes on and doesn't change. Well, it does. Travelers leaving Crimea and entering Ukrainian territory are greeted by two welcoming signs written in Ukrainian and Crimean Tatar.